Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, you're about to see one of the nicest 300Ds in the country. I've been trying to purchase this car for the last year. Um, it belongs to a very prestigious collector here in Atlanta. I bought a couple of cars from him, and this is his last Mercedes. Um, it is a 1983 300D, and it's Biscayne blue, and it has 44,000 miles on it. Like I said, I've been trying to get this car for about a year, and today he called and he's ready to sell. So let's go check this car out. We'll meet the owner. We'll go through all the service history, and I'm really excited. Like I said, I've been trying to get this car for a year, so hang tight, and we'll see the car in a minute. All right, guys, I'm pulling up to Gunner's house and uh, I can already see the Mercedes is parked outside right up there at the top of the driveway. You can barely make out the front of it up there, so let's go check this out. Guys, like I said, I've been waiting a year to get this car and it's finally the day. So uh, let's show you guys this thing. It's also a 1983, which is my favorite year. There she is. He's got it parked outside for us. He's got the hood popped, ready to do the inspection. So let's go knock on Gunner's door and I'll come out here and show you guys all around this car. All right, I just talked with Gunner and he's gonna open the garage for us here and uh, come out and show us this beautiful car. Gunner, I hope you don't mind me recording. Sorry. How's it going? Good, good hope, to see you, John. Hope you don't mind me recording. We're, we're old friends, you and I. <laughs> so, I was telling the guys that I've probably been waiting a year for you to make the call and tell me you're ready to sell this car. Yeah, I think at least that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can you tell us a little about it? Here, let's walk over uh, here so I can get it in the uh, background. Sure. Uh, you want me to come over there? Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, I've, I've had this car. Uh, I've owned, I don't know, 20 Mercedes at least over the last 35 years. And I've had this one longer than any car. Um, I bought it, I think, in 05 or 06. Okay. And I bought it from the original owner. Here in Atlanta? No, no. He's a gentleman. Uh, I met him through the Mercedes-Benz Club. Uh, he had a home in Chicago and a home in Traverse City, Michigan, and I think another home in Palm Springs or something. Okay. And he was a dealer. He's a Mercedes dealer. Oh, okay. So this was his uh, wife's car, uh, and it's her summer. They called it her summer car because they lived in uh, Traverse City, Michigan. Yeah, you can't drive cars in the winter there. No, Ruins no. Them. And this has never been in. Never been anything close to snow. Never been. Uh, never been. It's always been garage. So. Uh, but this was his wife's car, and uh, I think she had pa maybe passed away. I'm not sure, but he had it advertised in the Star, and uh, that's where I saw it originally. And uh, I agreed to buy the car, and then another, then all of a sudden he was trying to buy it, so they got bid up. And but I bi I bought the car, and I met the family in Chicago uh, to pick the car up, and that was like in a September October time. It was about frame. twenty about twenty years ago. Yeah, so I've had it ever, and I've it's you know it's got it just turned forty five thousand miles. So. so you've been driving it a little to keep it. In. Oh yeah, been, didn't you buy it at thirty three thousand miles? Uh, I'll have to check that. I'm not I can't okay. remember the exact miles. I have everything on it, so I've documented it from day one, and uh, you know it's just a great car. And, and this is called Biscayne. Biscayne blue. This is an amazing color. This is the only one I've ever seen this color. I've seen one of the two forty D, but yeah, you know, a long time ago, not very nice shape. But the most of these came in. Uh, china blue yeah which is a much lighter blue. i don't like the china blue it, it looks like this would fade it out yeah uh, so this has a deeper I, and usually I, the only time i've ever seen another one is it had a blue interior which i didn't care for you know it's a lot too much blue yeah and uh, where this uh let's take a, a look at this interior yeah yeah sure yeah. i feel like uh, one of those game show girls <laughs> opening doors so. <laughs> wow guys look at that this thing it smells new <laughs> You know, my guy that's, that's my service on it, he's an old 300D guy. Uh, 
And when he first saw this, he started crying. He... <laughs> yeah, this is this is incredible. I'll glue this little piece back down. That's, oh yeah, it's I, that happens on all of them. Yeah, I know. You, I think they come. It, it came with some like double sided tape or something. I'm yeah. not sure, but wow, this. man. The seats aren't even, I mean, the, the nets aren't even stretched out on the back. I don't think anybody's ever sat in the back seat. <laughs> Let's look at the uh, engine compartment. Yep, 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 sure. It's, I mean, it's just an honest car. Yeah, man. this is this is ridiculous. It's like a time capsule. Well, that's what that's what Ken said, the guy who did my service. Holy cow. I took cow. the hood pad off as it was deteriorating, and I haven't put a new one on. I cleaned it. Okay, I'll throw a hood pad on it's there. That's clean. easy. I meant to tell you that, but I think you saw that before. So... I bet you he kept this in Palm Springs because I don't know the cat all the cadmium plating is still here, and yeah. you don't see that on northern cars. Or they just kept it in the garage all year, it was except never, for the summertime. This, he, he, I picked this when I picked this car up. Uh, wow. there's this area in Chicago called the Gold Coast. Okay, where uh, you know it's it's very very it's like these row houses built in the you know 1890s 1900s. I guess and that's where I picked the car up, and I mean it was a very uh, I this mean, man, there's there's man. there's not even uh, like the air cleaner lid looks new. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, again, it only has forty five thousand miles. I it, mean, it just it, turned forty five thousand. I mean, this is not even faded. They sometimes turn yellow, you know. Yeah. Wow, that's this. Is really... Well, the beauty of you know, sometimes people think northern cars or midwestern cars, and you know, your red flag goes, they think, oh, rust. But the climate is such, especially like a Traverse City. I mean, it's every. Have you ever been there in the summer? Uh -uh. It's absolutely, it's it's a it's a beautiful town on on the water, but the it's, the climate's mild, you know. In the hey, summer, it, now it's it's brutal in the winter time. It's obvious this because if they've been out at all in the winter, like it even has the cadmium on the clips still. Yeah. It, it's pretty incredible. Well, I've had it for I guess almost twenty years, so and it's always been garage on my end. So. And you have all the service records. I do. That's, I do. Let's show the guys the mileage here. I do. It just turned 45,000. 45,000 miles, you guys. That wood is immaculate. And, uh, you know, I think I got probably one of the last set of Michelin Defenders that could... Yeah, they stopped making them like two years ago. I, I didn't know that, but I guess when I had these put on... Uh, oh, wow. Yep. Those are the good ones. <laughs> They've got probably, I mean, this tire's probably at 100 miles on them. <laughs> so they're, they're brand new tires. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, great. No, I, no, you know, I, it, I do get it out. I drive it to the village and I go get gas and I go, you know. Uh, wow, look at that. Yeah, these, these people probably had like five or six cars and this got driven every oh, yeah. once in a this, while. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and I, that's a, a sun cover I had made. Uh, I, I I ordered that from uh, Covercraft. So this is incredible. Let's uh let's go inside and look at all this paperwork. Sure. So this is all of your uh, documentation on the vehicle. It is. Um. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. Okay. Well. Uh. Let's see. Here's the original. Uh. Owner's manuals. Uh. It has every oh, yeah. item that came with the car originally. That's no. Nice. I, I, I keep it in the house. But. I mean, it's never like. It's yeah. all here. Look at that. the The Becker radio is still in the original wrapper. The Becker yep. radio instructions. Yeah. So you know, you know, as far as the uh, owner's manual, maintenance records. Of course, the uh, you know, in case you break down, here's the probably no longer applicable. But uh, oh, look, there's locations. some notes here from that's this, me. Okay. Stuff I've written over the years, and you can look at the uh, still have the the uh, service tag. You know, for oh, that's so rare to find driver, those. Drive out plate or yeah. Oh, so, yeah, they were having this serviced at the dealership. Right. He owned it. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's right. He owned the dealership. Yeah. yeah. No it, way. It was called Acme originally, but then it got changed to Black Forest Motors. Okay. Wow, look at this. And this is kind of the point where I, I, I bought the car. Right around in here. Yeah. And then you started doing the service. Um, yeah. And I, I guess this is, here, I'll put those here. That's what all this is here. That is correct. Let's take a look at that stuff. Holy okay. cow, Gunner. That's Let's the most see. organized. Well, I even have, uh, this all came with the car originally as well. And, uh, you know, there's your, you know, your uh, manuals. This is when you're you know, going to the dealership. The, up, the original Mercedes touch-up paint? It is. <laughs> it is. And here's uh, the star I bought it in. Oh, uh, cool. So I kept that for you. And it's the advertisement in there. That's how I found it. And this was in uh, 
October 2000. So I guess I've had it longer than I thought. 23 years now. Well, I'll tell you, I, I bought the car. Anyway, here's the... Wow, look at let that. Me, let me check. I'll double check, make sure when I bought and it. And you were having this serviced over at Ed's, same as the uh, right. SD. Right, and I've lived in, you know, over, the, over that period of time, I've lived in... Where have I lived? Minneapolis, Birmingham, and uh, uh, Atlanta. So this is a, wow. a, a guy that did my service in, in Birmingham. Uh, here's a, when I first bought the car, I brought it to uh, MBS in oh, Atlanta. Oh, uh, Larry over there at MB yeah, Motorsport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, MBS so his Motors. father, his father knew my father uh, the old days. He worked at RBM. Okay. And before he opened up his own shop, but he was a master mechanic at RBM in the old days and. And That's Larry's the son. And I, I know Larry. Two, two sons over there. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. And yeah, they run a good shop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, here's all the work they did for me. I mean, I mean, these are, you know, all... Uh, Very meticulous. $1,600 service and then a $1,400 service. And so... Um, no no corners were cut here. <laughs> never, never. And here are, the ta here are the service records from when they owned it. I mean, here's... Oil change. You know, here you can see... Look at that. This car didn't have any miles on it, but it still had a... It was serviced. Oh, that's back in 94. Right. 91. Oh, this is all the way back. 89. This is back to day one. Yeah. That's sure incredible. It goes all the way back to no miles. You know? That here, this is the first. This must be the first service here. Yeah. What is that? Zero miles. 5,000 mile. What's that say? 5,000 mile service. Yeah. That must be the first like oil oh, change. 1,000 miles. 1,000 mile oil change right there. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So uh, now, what just, are these over here? This is all just. Um, I just thought in the event you, you did get the car, um, I'm kind of ending my my collecting days, and I, these are all service. These are all articles I I kept on doing everything from valve adjustments to, you know, you name it. Uh, oh yeah, that's great. There's just a ton of stuff here that's really good. You know, how to, wow, look at that right there. That's yeah. the original uh, antenna right. cleaning wipes. Right, and there's your and the, kits that went with the it. The Becker radio, the tape deck cleaner, I think that is. Yeah, it's like injector cleaning, you know, how to do a diesel purge. You know, I just, I found this stuff really helpful. And it's the, fantastic. These websites are no longer around. Uh, this guy was great. It had to check for vacuum leaks. Oh, I guess my website is the one around now. <laughs> you know, putting new motor mounts in. and Oh, nice. And this is just really detailed, and I found this very helpful. This would be cool for all this to just stay with the car. Yeah. You okay. know? Well, there you go. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, I've you think I killed a few trees here doing that one. So, Well, guys, this is obviously one of the nicest 300Ds in the country. Um, so I'm going to talk with Gunner and see what we can work out. We'll get this car back to the shop and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you next time. All right, guys, we got this uh, 83 300D loaded on the trailer. 83 is my favorite year and blue is my favorite color. So uh, I think this might be my best find yet. I, uh, and Gunner is the most meticulous collector. I mean, you guys saw the service records, everything perfectly organized. And uh, I'm going to get this thing back to the shop, and y'all are going to see me go through it, make sure everything's 100%. So uh, stay tuned for the videos, and we will see you next time. Take care.